What is up guys, welcome back to Tempest TV. Today we're down here on John Tian Beach. I got somewhat of a special guest today. My boy Keyswine pulled up, came down from Bangkok. We're gonna kind of show you around, take you on a little bit of a budget tour. We're gonna show you how we kind of have a cheap day, a real authentic Thai day. We're gonna go get some food, hang out for a little bit, kind of take you guys with us so you get an idea of what it costs for a budget day in Thailand. All right, let's go. So we're not really gonna be discussing too much like any bills or anything like that. I have done a couple budget videos. If that's something you'd like to see, what like rent costs, you know, what it costs to live here for a month, go back, jump back in the catalog and check those out. Today, we're just gonna kind of take you with us, show you around like what we spend money on during the day, how much food costs, maybe you wanna get a couple beers, just to give you a better idea of, you know, your filler costs throughout the day. So we found the lunch spot. This is definitely a spot I've come to a few times and uh, it's super cheap. I went with the cashew chicken for 80 baht, rice, coke. I don't really know the total yet. I will definitely update you. What'd you get over there, Brody? I got a la mou, also 80 baht. Coke's 30 baht, so 105. Okay. 85 and 30. Nice, not too bad, super cheap. What is that, like 350, something like that? So that's about on average what I pay for lunch. Anywhere from 100 to maybe 200 baht if I'm feeling fancy. All right, so we'll go ahead and check off the 5.30 p.m. lunch, and uh, it's definitely about that time. Sun's going down, so beers? Is that even a question? I don't think so. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay, you may notice a t-shirt change. Um, it's not a continuity error. Well, I mean, technically it is, but it is the next day. Unfortunately, we got a little rained out. We got a little distracted yesterday. But now that you have an idea what a Thai lunch costs, I don't know if I mentioned, but I don't really eat a lot of breakfast. Um, but here in Thailand, they don't really like differentiate breakfast from lunch and dinner. It's kind of all the same food all the time. But me and Adam went and got some lunch. It was super cheap. I think I paid 80 baht for my food, from what I recall. And right now, we're gonna meet up again. We're gonna go to the spot. We're gonna get some dinner this time, kind of give you guys a better idea, kind of collect ourselves. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go find out. All right, so we found Mr. Keys One. We're here uh, grabbing some food. Um, I just kind of wanted to pick his brain a little bit. I've only been here for six months. We do kind of have different budgets. So I wanted to like, I had a few questions that I wanted to ask him. Things that I definitely thought about before I came here too, just to give you guys like a better perspective. Um, just on like two different budgets. So like, how long have you been living here? Like full time? Uh, two years now. Two years, for sure. So what was one thing that you feel like you wasted a lot of money on when you first got here? And like, how did you get better? Besides the obvious, right? I mean, drinking is my biggest expense. Mm -hmm. um, but thankfully when I got here, all the bars and everything were pretty much closed. Okay. Um, so it was actually easier to control that. I was sort of like buying alcohol and stuff from 7-Eleven to doing it, like more of the house party type Okay, thing. yeah. Um, that's all the really comes to mind yeah what about like food and stuff when you first got here did you like struggle with street food or anything or did you like no I, like... Lo I, I loved it and I was, okay. I was excited for it but when I came here I was on a tight budget so I was um, was eating a little street food okay for sure so if someone is on a pretty tight budget what would you say is like the biggest thing that they can pay attention to to like make sure they stay within their budget you know what I mean one thing that's like easy to waste money on if you're not paying attention Besides drinking, obviously. That's the, that's the one that I, you guys know. The cost, right? Yeah, I bring that one up all the time. If you don't drink, you're good, but the, I, there's definitely a couple other things. I think food's probably think, a big one. Yeah, food, um, and just looking around, because like, you know, we were walking up here yesterday, and there's places that sell Pad Thai 
like 250 baht and then the place next door will have it for 40 baht or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be the exact same thing. So yep. yeah, just sort of getting out of the tourist trap places mm -hmm. and, and finding more local places. Yeah, definitely. So out of the major tourist cities like Phuket, Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Piran Pattaya, which one would you say is the best if somebody was like on it like a pretty tight budget? I would say here. Yeah, yeah. Pattaya, if Jongtian even more. Yeah. Um, I was in Phuket recently and Phuket is insanely expensive. Mm -hmm. It's the most expensive place I've been to in Thailand. Even more than um, Bangkok? Yeah, much more. Yeah. Like much more. Okay. Um, for everything. So, yeah, Bangkok is a mix. Like if you're in the tourist areas, you can spend quite a lot of money, but you can also get into the local areas that are really close by and get some good deals right, too. Right, right, right. What's one thing in Thailand that a lot of people think is like crazy cheap, but in all reality it's not? Like generally, gonna be the, the obvious one, drinking. Yeah, I, I, I just think a general night out, like if you go out for dinner and drinks, mm -hmm. you can spend quite a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I think places yeah, where you go for a beer. Yeah. Some, sometimes you pay, like in, especially on Walking Street, place yeah. like 200 baht for a beer, which is true. Yeah, it's expensive. Really cheap relative to like where we're from, but still cheaper, expensive. Cheaper, but still Thailand. expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sure. Also hotels. So if you like, if you're in Phuket. As an example, all the hotels there were quite expensive. I couldn't get anything under a thousand baht a night, and Damn. the places I was getting for, I think like 13, 1400 baht a night, you would get for probably three, four hundred here. Wow. So yeah, hotels can be surprisingly expensive too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so obviously there's like quite a few things if you're really not paying attention to it, stuff can end up really expensive, but like we've, uh, Keys is actually doing a video right now too, talking about budget and stuff. If you don't know his channel, I know we share a lot of subscribers, but I'll go ahead and link it below. He's been here for quite a while. He's got a really successful channel. Um, so he's going in a little bit more in depth on like a daily budget type deal. I do have quite a few, but not really like daily stuff, more like uh, set bills and stuff like a whole monthly, but he's got a really good video going up soon. So make sure you check that out. All right, guys, we have made it back to my condo. If you are coming to Thailand and you're wondering a little bit about money, how much stuff actually costs, hopefully this video gave you a better idea. Wanna give a massive shout out to Keys1 for helping out with the video. Make sure you go check out his channel. All that stuff will be linked in the description below. If you'd like to see more from Thailand, feel free to check out the video that's on screen right now. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one. Tell somebody you love them.